Hello and welcome to the RadioNet Monitoring YouTube channel. In this video we take a close look at the difference between wireless and cable communication in the security industry. What do fiber optics, traditional landlines and ADSL have in common? The answer is they are all vulnerable to intruders as they are easily accessible from outside of your premises, meaning they can be severed, tampered with or damaged by intruders prior to entering your premises. So how does this impact on your security system? The short answer is if any cable communication has its main data path severed, communication will not be possible under normal circumstances. So is it safe? Can this communication system be relied upon? This practical illustration shows the path your cable security system adopts when communicating with your monitoring center. The security system will communicate from your house through its cable source, then through the exchange to the monitoring center. So let's assume an intruder severs the cable exterior to your premises. What is the result? Quite simply, communication stops at the breakage point, meaning your security system is unable to communicate with the monitoring center. This leaves the intruder ample time to gain access to your premises undetected by your monitoring center, which is not a pleasant thought. Remember, this applies to all cable communication which includes fiber optic, ADSL, and traditional landline, but not with the enterprise. So who or should they know? Will your monitoring center be aware of this breakdown in communication? After all, it is commonly believed that the monitoring center will be alerted the moment communication from your security system to their monitoring software is interrupted. Well, let's consider how the system works. Traditionally, your security system will communicate once per day to your monitoring center and advise them that your premises is online. So for the sake of this illustration, let's assume what you now see is the daily communication status check-in. Depending on monitoring centers, the interval between check-in ranges between 24 to 60 hours. There are exceptions based on the level of security, but these intervals are generally accepted as standard. So what happens if your cable communication source is severed at this moment? Firstly, your security system will be unable to communicate with your monitoring center. But to complicate matters, the monitoring center will assume your security system is online until a failure on your next check-in, which could be as long as 60 hours away. The end result? Is the intruder has reserved a safe period of access to your premises. So in short, Houston, we have a problem because no communication is possible, but not with the enterprise. So what? about IP communication over fiber or ADSL. Surely with the advances in technology, this communication would on face value 
seem like the most practical and secure method. Well, let's consider a standard home configuration. Here we have a computer desk. So let's add an ADSL router, a computer, a ethernet switch, an alarm system, none in particular, just one that is capable of IP communication, a 220 volt power source, and lastly, the internet. So how does your IP security work? Well, normally the security system would be interfaced into either the ethernet switch or the ADSL router. This would allow the security system access to the ADSL feed and thus making communication with your monitoring center possible. So what happens if there is a failure or power lossage on the ADSL router, the ethernet switch, any cable fault, or the mains power? Well, you lose ADSL and the ability for your security system to communicate with the monitoring center. So in fact, the probability of failure for IP monitoring is greater than traditional landline communication, but not with the enterprise. So what is safe and secure considering the possibilities we have looked at. Well, the Enterprise Transmitter is an absolute breeze to install. Just four wires does it all. And all communication takes place from within your home, totally wirelessly, thus avoiding intruder vulnerability. Cutting external cables has absolutely zero effect on the enterprise doing its job and communicating with monitoring center. There are no communication wires and therefore maintaining safe, consistent assurance that the job will be done is the order of the day with the enterprise. Thus, with this method of communication, it ensures a prompt response from your monitoring center. After all, is that not why you installed the security system in the first place? A standard enterprise does a check-in every hour with your monitoring center. So let's consider the situation the intruder has now been forced into. The intruder now has to gain access to your premises with communication still intact. The alarm system, if installed correctly, will activate on unauthorized entry. The intruder has five seconds to locate the enterprise if he wishes to interrupt communication with the monitoring center. Within five seconds, your monitoring center is alerted of the intruder's invasion of your privacy. being peace of mind. Peace of mind knowing that intruders do not have the upper hand or the same security access rights as you, the homeowner. And as a result, the final outcome is happy customers.
want to know more? For more information on RadioNet monitoring and the product and services we offer, please watch the other video on the channel or visit our websites www.radionetmonitoring.co.nz or www.wirelessalarms.co.nz Thank you.